everyone welcome back to another video we are wrapping up the old year and heading into the new one where we are actually gonna finally finally be getting our special mounts from Stormblood it's called a lone wolf no more and we're getting the fabled Kamui file the lonely sound of the stout flute is said to summon a long-lived allspice Kamui of the nine tails rarely glimpsed by mortal eyes and so the quest is once again called A Lone Wolf No More. The news hawker is displaying a worrying degree of interest in you. Really? Why is that? Good morning. This may seem rather out of the blue, but are you by any chance the Kame Whisperer? Um, I have a lot of titles. That sure doesn't sound like one of them. I don't know who you are, and frankly, you're scaring me. Haha, <laughs> come now. You have nothing to fear from me. I am but a simple messenger. You see, I have been asked to find the one who has tamed the seven Kamwe of legend. If the information I received is accurate, I believe my search has come to an end. Should I locate the Kamwe Whisperer, I am to direct said person to Namai, where a bar dressed in crimson robes awaits. If you are indeed who I think you are, I'm sure the trip will be worth your while. My master has a habit of standing out wherever he goes. Which should be especially true in a drab place like Namai. Alright, so let's head on over there. Wow, so I literally got done with the whole dog farming just like 10 minutes ago. As soon as I got my last dog, I came straight here so I can earn my special mount from Stormblood. Oh, and I can complain all about that in a moment. But let's go see what he has to say. It's the Wandering Minstrel. Or as I like to know him as, Yoshi P. Hey, remember me? I have been expecting you, Claire. My prediction that you would indeed be the one to gather the seven Kame has, much to my delight, been proven correct. After all, it is not the first time you have managed a feat of this nature. No, it isn't. I have all my birds and all my ponies. Now I need are the dragons. You have formed an unbreakable bond with these mystical hounds, but what you may not know is that there is another, said to surpass them all. Majestic and fearsome to behold. Do you have any inkling of whom I speak? No, she doesn't, but I know. Why, tis none other than the Kamwei of the Nine Tails, an allspice said to have once soared across the skies of Doma. Many believe it to be immortal, able to overcome death itself, yet doomed to witness all it has come to cherish wither and fade from existence. Its howls echo through the valleys as it searches for one it considers to be an equal, that it may find a companion with whom to share eternity. While I cannot comment on your longevity, I dare say you otherwise pose the necessary credentials to be granted an audience. All that remains is to play this file to summon the beast. You need not concern yourself with where I procured such an item, only that the Kame of the Nine Tails will heed its call should you be judged worthy. So what say you, my friend? Will you place your trust in me and embark on this quest to befriend a divine being? Naturally, I will be close at hand to observe, as I have in the past. I could not possibly miss the opportunity to bask in such a glorious spectacle. Will you permit me to attend? Oh, sure. Splendid! Fortunately, I have already ascertained a suitable location, not far from here, where the view of the One River should provide the perfect backdrop. Once you arrive, take the file in hand and let your soul pour forth as melody. Try not to let the fact that a professional musician is playing extremely close attention to your every note you put off. I am sure it will be an unforgettable performance. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. After all, we are bards, so we're no strangers to musical instruments. Oh, I can't wait! Finally, after all this time, I'm finally getting that mount! Oh, I cannot wait. Here he goes. Alright, Fight of the Nine Tails, a fantastical flute that, when played, is believed to summon the Conway of the Nine Tails. Let's savor this moment and just take a quick look back on all of our beloved beasts. 
the very first mount that I got was actually from Susano, the Lord of the Revel. So here is our beloved mount. And it wasn't too difficult. I think I had about 30. It was definitely under 40 runs before I was able to earn this beast. And look at him. He's so sweet. How can you not love that face? So he's a bright blue dog with sort of white trimming and glowing red fur flying about him. They say that he's supposed to be worthy of the revel, and he certainly is. So this was actually the very first of the extreme battles that I managed to beat during Stormblood. And yeah, I had a few good runs with it. It was, it was tricky at first, but once I got the hang of it, I was able to find the parties very quickly. The next mount that I actually earned was from none other than Lakshmi. And as you can see, our hound here, it's a beautiful white dog with these light blue trimmings and this glowing, almost pinkish, whitish color for the glowing mane. Now, as I said before, this was actually the second mount that I managed to earn. And let me tell you, it was not easy. I beat Lakshmi Extreme way back during the whole 4.1 series where the file drop was much, much lower than it is right now. And I saw it like maybe, maybe 10 times tops. It was definitely under 10, I think. But yeah, I had to do the full 99 runs to get those stupid totems that I could trade for the stupid whistle. Uh, needless to say, I have not done Lakshmi Extreme since then. It was just so difficult just trying to get that dog. But as you can see, it was definitely worth it because we have this beautiful shining dog to add to our collection. So it's like a dream dog for just about anybody and I love it. I'm happy with it. I just wish it wasn't so difficult to get my hands on. Now the next one is actually going to be the first of the four Lord's dogs and it was from Biako. It was completely by accident. So it was like, I was not expecting to get it like near as quickly as I did. I, I think that I managed to get it like after my 13th run. So it was pretty easy, like at least compared to some of the others, like especially with Lakshmi. Uh, but look at him. We got this beautiful striped dog. It looks just like Biako with the white fur and black stripes with a golden flowing mane like right around his head there. So yeah, it was definitely pretty easy to get actually. I only had to do like it was less than 20, definitely less than 20 runs before I was able to luck out and got hold of Biako. But I suppose maybe that was just kind of making up for the whole trouble I had with Lakshmi. So this was the first of the four Lord Dogs that I was able to get. The others, nowhere near as easy. So we are moving on to the next mount. The next mount that I earned was from Shinryu. Now we have this dark gray dog with these golden hem and a bright green, almost like a neon green mane flowing about its head, which of course represents the dragon Shinryu. Now, out of all the dog mounts that I had to work for, like out of all the trials for Stormblood, this one was by far the one that was the most difficult for me to grasp the mechanics. I don't know why it was just so difficult for me. I mean, I was still messing up by the time that I managed to get this dog, but, but after a while, just before I ended up earning my dog, which I think was about 53, 54, Four runs before I was able to get lucky enough to earn the stock and never have to go back there again I was finally able to kind of grasp the mechanics at least long enough that I wasn't making the same mistakes over and over again no I was making new mistakes every time believe it or not but of course we did manage to earn Shinryu in the end I'm pleased with it and I suppose that just has to be enough for me So we only have three more mounts left. The next one was actually the second of the Lord's dogs, which happens to be Suzaku. So we have this bright red dog with like the white trimmings and a fiery red hem around its head. And again, all the four Lords are pretty difficult, at least during the beginning. I kept falling down that stupid hole in the middle of the battlefield. But I was able to get pretty lucky with this. Not one of the easier ones, but not one of the harder ones, I suppose. I mean, I got it like fairly easy enough. I got it soon enough. 
once I was able to stop falling and actually follow the stupid mechanics. So I did Suzaku Extreme about 40 odd times before I was able to earn the dog. I don't know why, but it's been very, very difficult trying to get high rolls when I do these dog farms. I don't know why that is. Of course, it's not too bad when you consider that it is Suzaku. And out of all the lords, Suzaku's probably my favorite. Next up is a very tricky one for me, and it was Sukoyomi. So we have this pitch black dog here with white trimmings and gold trimmings. And a glowing purple mane, which of course represents Sukuyomi or Yotsuyu in her primal form. And this fight was almost as difficult for me to deal with as Lakshmi was. It was a grand total of 80. You hear me? It was 80 totems before I was finally able to earn this dog. I mean, if you consider that it was Sukuyomi and they have some of the most beautiful weapons, like during these trials, it really wasn't too bad, especially since I did get all the weapons and I did get a couple of the fish tank trimmings. And I eventually, of course, got this dog here. But yeah, I mean, well, there's only so much that you can take though, right? <laughs> I mean, there's only so much you could take of doing a primal fight at least 80 times. But still, that was way better than my last dog, which was quite a problem, child. <laughs> of course, I'm talking about Siryu. So we got this dark blue dog with white fur and golden trimmings with this light blue almost ocean like mane around its head and let me tell you I have a love-hate relationship with this dog I don't know what it was but trying to get the stupid whistle it popped up pretty often the problem was every time I rolled on it it was almost always a low number in fact I didn't beat it until about 10 minutes ago where I finally got the stupid whistle and it took a grand total of 95, you hear me? 95 runs of Siryu before I finally got it. I mean, I was willing to go the full 99 to get the stupid dog, but really? Just as I was nearing the 99 mark, there it shows up. And I didn't think I was going to get it, but what do you know? I got a 99 on that roll. Oh boy, Siryu, you, you are a problem child. There is no doubt in my mind. But anyway, that's me looking back on all of my dogs. I think it's time to really look to the future with our brand new mounts in hand. So let's go back and get our legendary beast. Such radiance, such magnificence! The Kome of the Nine Tails, most revered of its kind, has come! In days of wandering alone across the realm hath come to an end. Indeed, you have earned your place alongside this divine being, my friend. Ah, to witness the Warrior of Light, joined by the Kome of the Nine Tails and its brethren before my very eyes. Tis a moment that must be preserved and first for future generations. Ahem. <clears throat> Trail by tales of nine, soaring across moonlit sky. Restless traveler, summoned home by hero's call, kindred soul adventurer. Yes, yes, I think I shall name this piece A Lone Wolf No More. It shall serve as testament to the friendship between two great beings favored by the gods. That you are able to earn the respect of such heavenly creatures fills me with awe. You certainly seem to have a talent for it. 
My retelling of today's events is sure to enrapture souls the world over, and perhaps they too will one day be fortunate enough to glimpse the two of you racing across the sky. Farewell, hero. We finally have it! We have our nine tails! Oh, it's about time! Oh, we have a brand new title! Flute of the Plume. Let's see, what's it called? Kayubi Tamer. Interesting. You know what? I think we shall go by that name from now on. At least for now. Okay, let's see if we can find it. It should be back with Stormblood titles. Where is it? Did they pass it? Oh wait, there it is. Okay, we have a brand new title. We have a brand new mount. Oh, I need to clear this out. The lonely song of this stout flute is said to summon a long-lived allspice. Come we of the nine tails, rarely glimpsed by mortal eyes. Well, it's gonna be seen a lot more often now. Where is he? Here he is! Only an individual who has proven his worth by taming no less than seven, Kume now summoned this fabled vulpine allspice from her burrow in the heavens. Despite obvious similarities to the other vulpine allspice, could be of the nine tails, this ageless vixen has her own storied history, which is, sadly, too long to list here. Most revered among the Kume, Kurbi has come. Alright, so let's bring her out and get a good look at her. Something I never really understood. They call her the Nine Tails, but as far as I can tell, she's only got seven! Oh, but look at her go! Who cares how many tails she's got? Oh, I'm so happy I finally have the stupid dog! And I'll never have to do the Stormblood Extreme Trials again! Which I never plan to do so! So, everyone out there, if you're still working for this hound, let me tell you, I feel your pain. I wish you the best of luck out there, and I hope that you will have all the luck that you'll need for this upcoming year. So until next time, everyone, thank you and take care of yourselves. And now I'm going to be working on getting my dragons from Shadowbringers. So until next time, bye-bye.